Hello everybody, welcome in and welcome back. This is a follow-up to the How to Save Marigold Seeds video. And so in order to show you how I'm using those seeds, and this is the take that I got from that last uh, batch of marigolds that I planted. And I wanted to see y'all to see just how many you can get. And so in order to show you how I'm using it, we're gonna do a quick little walk through this garden. I'll be back. Well, I'm back. These are a few of the little tomato plants that I grew from a slice of tomato. And I've got them planted on this side of the house. And I just wanted to get out here and show you all this before everything starts weeping even more with all the heat that we're having. It's getting up to 90 today. So I have marigolds in that batch of tomatoes trying to save and transplant some banana tree pups. Marigolds in that. And they're not really showing serious, serious blooms yet, but put them in all these pots. And I've got a lot of peppers going. Shishito, I've got, what else what do I have? I've got some mammoth jalapenos. Forgive the camera work because I'm out here by myself and I really can't see what you see. I've got some hot cayennes going, okra, a whole lot of marigolds in the okra, more okra. <clears throat> then we've got some big beefsteak tomatoes, marigolds in all these pots. More big beef steaks. Miracles in the pot. More big beef steaks. And this plant has a worm on there eating it. I'll find that later. And to see what else we have, we have more tomato plants. Miracles, miracles, miracles. Banana tree pups, marigolds, marigolds. And I even put them in with the blueberry tree or the blueberry bush. The birds are kind of eating those before I can get to them, but it is what it is. Got some pepper plants down here. I haven't put flowers in with them yet, but I got those going. More pepper plants, a jalapeno. Showing a couple little baby peppers. I got my leaf of life. They're looking good. Strawberry plants. Doing purple basil. Pastor getting to them a little bit, but they are delicious. I got some, what is this, peppermint? Sweet mint. Got some sweet mint going. And you see flowers everywhere, everywhere. And this is a, what is that? Poblano Ancho. Poblano Ancho. Grapes. Leaf of Life. Then I have some, what is that? That's a cantaloupe. It has flowers also, blend it in with that. Okra with flowers, just flowers. Hideous lettuce going to seed. more okra flowers in those okra 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 then I have these mystery peppers going they're getting dried only reason why I call them mystery peppers is because I have no idea what they are I had a friend give or donate to me a like a handful of pepper seeds 
not a handful like a whole Ziploc but anyway I just threw those out here so I'm just waiting to see what those are more tomato plants growing from that slice of tomato flowers 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 then we'll go down here to the neighbors and see what's going on down there and I still I'm still gonna have to water but it's just uh it's a little early got a Japanese beetle tearing that okra up but more okra with flowers in the bottom got to get him that's ridiculous okay got him more okra 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 flowers there's something hiding in there I don't know what that is but there's some plants hiding down in the flowers and this is a raggedy, what is that? I'm thinking it's the sweet, sweet peppers. <clears throat> and that is going to be a red ghost pepper. And it's got flowers growing in there too. And some of the flowers are kind of taking over the pots. So I'm going to chop them down lower so I can see what's really going on. And that is my first little okra growing. I can't wait to fry that up. More mystery peppers. And they're about taking over. You can't even see what's down in there. They're about taking the whole thing over. Then I have a grapefruit tree that my neighbor is letting me grow on her back porch. It's looking good. It doesn't have flowers in it, but it's got plenty of purslane growing down in there for me to eat. And I'm thinking there's some volunteer, matter of fact, I know, there's some volunteer weary weary peppers down in there because she had uh, peppers growing down in here and they're just coming up on their own. Hey, pillow. Hey, pillow. He's so cute. So this is like how it looks. Like the whole shebang bang all in one shot. It's not like glamorous. But I'm pretty happy with what I have going on. And I want to thank you guys for taking the time out to watch. And I told you I am a renter. And I'm getting a lot of stuff going on out here. So I just wanted to encourage you guys to try it. I love you. Grow your own food. Thank you for watching. Bye.